Elon Musk's plan for an extensive system of underground tunnels beneath Sin City is anything but boring. Imagine being able to drive your Cybertruck from casino to casino via a traffic-free underground tunnel. Musk's boring company is making this dream a reality. So far, the Vegas Loop only runs under the Las Vegas Convention Center, but there are plans for major expansions. The Loop will soon run through all of Las Vegas, and it could one day connect every major city in the U.S. You might not even need a car, and instead travel inside a super-fast pod. Here's a look at the Vegas Loop and the boring company's ambitious plans. The Vegas Loop is still in its infancy, but in a few years, it might become the standard mode of transportation in the gambling capital of the world. The Las Vegas Convention Center Loop, which is the first leg of the project, took Musk and the Boring Company two years to complete at a cost of about $53 million. Using the $8 million Godot Tunnel Boring Machine, 1.7 miles of tunnel were dug 43 feet below the Las Vegas Convention Center. The next time you're in Vegas for a conference, simply take the escalator underground and call up a Tesla Model 3 or Tesla Model X via an app on your phone. You can now travel from one end of the sprawling convention center to the other in under two minutes. The Las Vegas Convention Center Loop saves a tremendous amount of time, as the same journey by foot would take 45 minutes or longer. The Loop connects the new Las Vegas Convention Center Exhibit Hall to the North Hall, Central Hall, and South Hall. There are three stations on the Loop and two tunnels. Traffic is not an issue underground, because the Las Vegas Convention Center Loop can handle 4,400 people an hour with 62 cars, and the Teslas used in the Loop will one day be fully autonomous. EV makers and tech companies have spent more than 16 billion dollars on autonomous driving research in the past few years, and Tesla is currently beta testing fully autonomous vehicles. The Boring Company recently received approval to begin construction on two more sections of the Vegas Loop. Using the $10 million Proofrock Tunnel Boring Machine, the Boring Company will build tunnels to the Encore Casino and Resorts World Casino. The proposed main artery of the Vegas Loop will travel all the way from Fremont Street in the North Down to McCarran Airport in the South you'll be able to travel from casino to casino with ease. If you're a sports fan, you're in luck, because the main artery of the loop will also connect to Allegiant Stadium and T-Mobile Arena. You won't have to worry about missing the opening face-off of the Golden Knights game or the kickoff of the Raiders game once the Vegas loop is completed. So how much will all this cost? Well, luckily, fares will be quite affordable. A 10-minute ride from the airport to the convention center will cost just $10. You'll be able to travel from the convention center to Allegiant Stadium for a Raiders game in four minutes for just $6. And a three-minute trip downtown from the convention center will cost only $5. That's not much more expensive than taking the Las Vegas monorail. And frankly, sitting in a secluded Tesla Model X is far more comfortable than being stuck beside drunken passengers on the train. Building all those tunnels will be extremely expensive. The entire Vegas Loop project could cost upwards of $787.5 million. Elon Musk always thinks big. The Boring Company is working on projects all around the world, and Musk could one day build an underground hyperloop that connects every major city in the United States. Imagine being able to drive your Cybertruck onto a platform that descends into an underground tunnel system. You could then drive the vehicle yourself or sit back and let the platform whisk you to your destination at 200 kilometers an hour. If you don't have a vehicle, there's no need to worry. Shuttles will also travel through the tunnels. For long distance trips to another city, simply hop inside a state-of-the-art train pod that uses magnetic levitation to hover through a vacuum tube. The autonomous electric pods will be able to travel faster than 600 miles an hour and could even reach a top speed of 760 miles an hour. That means you'd be able to travel from Los Angeles to San Francisco in just 45 minutes. A Hyperloop trip from DC to New York would take less than 30 minutes, and a trip from DC to Baltimore would take only eight minutes. We're at least 10 years away from Hyperloop becoming a reality, but progress is being made. Richard Branson's Virgin Hyperloop completed its first successful passenger test late last year. The pod only managed to reach speeds of 100 miles per hour, but it's a start. Building a Hyperloop across the U.S. would be one of the most expensive infrastructure projects of all time and could cost trillions of dollars. Musk says that a tunnel from L.A. to San Francisco would cost between six and seven and a half billion dollars. That might seem like a lot of money, but California's high-speed rail system, which is currently under construction, is expected to cost about 70 billion dollars. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that the Boring Company once sold flamethrowers for $500 a pop? Only 20,000 of the limited edition flamethrowers were made, and they sold out faster than a barn going up in flames. The idea started off as a joke, but in the end, it earned Musk and the Boring Company $10 million. That's it, folks. 
Thanks for watching.